Hart fanned on a shot as he had thoughts of a shot from the right wing circle. Gets it again, tries to shot, it scores! Oh my, what a release. Connor Bedard ties this game up at 3-3 with a power play goal. And we have eight Hello everyone, I'm Andy Lowe from NHL Draft Central and today we'll take a closer look at 2023 NHL Draft eligible Connor Bedor. The 15-year-old became the first ever WHL player to be granted exceptional player status by Hockey Canada in March of 2020 and with all eyes on him this past year, he's done nothing but impress. From the J20 National to the WHL, Bedor has rapidly adapted his play to the highest junior leagues and is already producing at crazy rates. It's very tricky to compare his numbers to past players due to a small sample size on his part and just a lack of comparables. But let's just say he started the year out in Sweden and has been buzzing ever since he came back to Regina. 12 points in 7 games of the start and multiple ally thrills. You've seen the stats, you've seen the highlights, but what makes Conor Bedar truly exceptional? We'll take a look at four aspects of this game that highlights his incredible talent and distinguish him from the rest of his age group. Pace, skill, goal scoring and hockey IQ. What first stands out with Bedar is his outstanding pace. The Canadian prospect flashes a wonderful acceleration and speed as he pushes the tempo in transition with his speedy drives to the offensive zone. He attacks the open lane when possible and brings a certain shiftiness to these joy rides. This is particularly noticeable on Regina's power play, where despite his young age, he is often trusted on to establish the attack as the main puck handler. Bedal loves using quick, crafty crossovers to neutral zone to build up momentum and attack the open file. Note that, even on this straight line drive, he continuously uses crossovers as a way to stay quick, volatile and deceptive. Playing on a bigger surface with a ton of open space back in Sweden really let him fall back on his pace and zooming velocity to command counter-attacks. Bedal traveled through lanes and open areas effortlessly and showcased an ambitious mindset with these hostile transition crusades. He could punish defenses for giving him paths to the offensive zone and fully took advantage of what was given to him. Bedal loved charging to the middle ice at the search of a high danger shot, often running into defensemen and using them as a screen for his shot. He's able to convert the play with a nice finish here. These aggressive rushes where the 5'10 forward invades directly on the central lane are not only reserved for Sweden. Being active down the middle ice is part of his game. Another fun aspect of these quick shots on zone entries is Bedal's ability and willingness to use his momentum to follow his shot and recover the puck in the corner. Here he can comfortably establish the power play for his team, but on a drive like this one, as soon as his shot gets partially deviated, he sidesteps the defenseman and goes for the rebound. Bedal is an eruptive attacker who loves to act as an active and audacious outlet option on breakouts. He gives his team the possibility to propel the action with rapid counter-attacks thanks to excellent anticipation and pace. He often blazes through neutral zone with his trademark explosive crossovers that put defenses on the back foot. If the pass didn't connect here, he gets first on the puck and finds a teammate striking to the slot. The 179-pound Sanderman anticipates the defensive recovery here and doesn't waste a second attacking the open ice behind the defensive line. Unfortunately, his defenseman is a fraction of a second too late in his read and the lane shots. I love Bedal's boldness on this action, trying to split the defenseman with no regards whatsoever for noted hard hitter Bryden Schneider's presence. It's his fifth game in the WHL and he's already trying to add to his highlight real tape. The right-handed forward enjoys being part of the action on counter-attacks and he's getting a ton of unmanned rushes and breakaways already. Bedor is looking for one thing in particular in these instances, getting to the net, which would make him a passing option and also give him a chance to bury the rebound. Number 98 turns the corner here and beats his man on the foot race with fiery stride. Bedor is in the perfect position, but his ally hesitates and fails to convert a shot from this opportunity. The most recent exceptional player status recipient 
can challenge defensemen on the outside with foot races, but his undeveloped body can match those of physically mature rear guards, despite what would look like an open file to the net for a player of his speed. Bedard can cut around the blue liner and is knocked down, sliding to the corner. The Canadian centerman isn't just pushing the pace as an outlet, he has also showcased the ability to create and lead breakouts as a playmaker. Combining his lightning quick first steps with his fiery mindset is the perfect recipe to evade pressure and just storm out of his own zone as he slips the pass to a winger. As soon as he gets stuck, you bet he'll explode out of traffic using his tremendous acceleration and agility. He turns on the engine in a fraction of a second and the breakout turns into a non-man rush on the other side. Oh, and this one leads to a goal. Did I ever mention that he pushes the pace very well? Well, the last way Bedard does it is simply by joining the puck pursuit. He isn't a physical forechecker, at least not yet, but he's been a very effective one. As soon as he sees the opponent playing passively, he jumps in on the action, trying to spark something out of pure compete. He possesses a quick, disruptive stick that allows him to put on a combative fight for the puck with any defenseman. I'm not sure, but he seems to throw himself at the puck here just to be the first on it. His strategy pays off as his pass to decrease finds a way to get to a teammate in the slot. Connor Bedell's pace and craftiness in transition is fabulous for his age. And while a player like Mick David is untouchable in terms of speed, his aggressivity is reminiscent of numerous dominant junior players. Bedell is an incredibly fun player to watch, thanks in particular to his splendid, delightful puck skills. The 2023 NHL Draft Eligible isn't afraid to rush at defensemen with quick moves and use his swift mitts to create space on the fly. He has the ability to stick and roll well within reach of his defenders and poke checks seem so far from a threat to him, as he smoothly continues on his path unconcerned. At times, Bedard doesn't even rely on stick and link to create separation. Here he uses his edges to redirect himself to an open spot for a low danger shot. Bedor is like a magician with a disc. Even with a ton of stick in the way and constant pressure on his back, he can keep control of the puck and follow through with his attacks. Some of these just look surreal. Two players on him with no room to go and Bedor escapes fluidly. On this action, Bedor recovers the puck at his blue line and has no momentum whatsoever. With pressure coming his way, he scrambles with a few spin and is able to evade pressure like nothing ever happened. Like look at this, Bedard is the youngest player in the league and is evading pressure with these type of moves. Note here, Bedard is using the A stance on the puck reception, which refrains him from exploding with crossovers in either direction or making a cut to beat the back pressure. He is forced to escape the fourth check with a slow turn that cuts down on any momentum he had and puts him in an unstable position. Either way, this is probably a turnover at the next level, but don't forget Bedard is already playing way above his age group, and he evades this trap effortlessly. Although I would discourage Bedard from using this dynamic poster, he only uses it sporadically and in specific moments. Here, he sidestepped the defense pin by shifting his weight on his heel and drifting to the middle ice. Galchenyuk had difficulties translating this posture to the initial level, since this was his only familiar position, which is far from Bedor's case. Elias Peterson is one example of someone who uses this A stance at times, but has the versatility to adapt his dynamic posture to different situations. Connor Bedor's puck control in tight spaces is fantastic, which allows him to dominate the boards with skill. With an obvious shortcoming and strength, he compensates with a quick, turbulent stick and incredible mobility to navigate pressure. And he's not just looking to win the puck back, he'll come out swiftly, in control and looking to create. Just look at those quick mitts to get to the slot, and he finishes with a beautiful snipe. With his elegant dig and flashy moves, Beda is a bit of a risk taker, and this comes with a fair share of turnover and mishandles. He often tries to split defenses or pass through defenders with ambitious dangles, which are obviously hit or miss. There was an adjustment period too, where Bedor realized that simply putting the puck behind the defenseman 
wasn't gonna be elusive enough, as these simple moves could often be met with physicality. But even when missed, I often like his ideas. Rather than making a safe pass to the left anchor, he sees the open space in the middle ice and attempts a simple move to get to that zone. Bedal puck skills electrifies his offensive game by adding flashiness and elusiveness to his skill set. Goal scoring is by far Bedal's marquee skill. The centerman can just flat out score. He collected 43 goals in 36 games in the CSSHL U18 last year and accumulated 8 tallies in 12 games so far this season. But numbers are just part of the story. When watching him from up close, you can clearly see his talent for shooting the puck. Bedao is the most dangerous on the power play, where with time and space, he can beat goaltenders with authority. He uses his trademark toe drag release to get his shot into the open lane and through the laser beam on net. It's only been a few games in the WHL level and he's already picking his spot and looking to beat goaltenders fair and square. Look at this one. He turns the corner and spots the goaltender slightly out of position, which he immediately punished with a vicious shot top corner. Conor Bedal woke up that day and chose violence. The Canadian prospect is a constant goal-scoring menace offensively, in part thanks to his outstanding release. Bedard does possess a fluid and powerful puck delivery, but what really stands out is his versatility. He can get a shot off from various angles and positions, which you can imagine can be very annoying to any goaltenders. Doesn't matter if he's losing balance, spinning, or on his back end, he will get a good shot off at all costs. The result wasn't threatening on this one, but it does highlight how easily and quick he can turn and deliver that puck. He turns a few feet of space into a dangerous scoring chance. Conor Bedal's goal scoring ability is the exclamation point to a dynamic offensive game. In each of my viewings this season, I left extremely impressed with Bedal's poise and composure. This is a 15 year old playing with players up to 20, 21 years old. And he seemed to adjust his decision making perfectly without needing any adjustment period. The right-handed attacker showcases incredible patience and possession of the disc, and he'll never hesitate to handle the puck for a long period of time if he doesn't like his options. He could have probably been quicker to share the puck, but I prefer that than a rush decision on the power play. Here, Bedar notices the lack of support in the slot and decides to be patient by protecting his puck. He finally finds an ally striking to the slot who completes the job. He was able to set up this goal thanks to his patience and composure. On this outbreak, Bedal stays aware of his surrounding at all times. Without many skating and passing lanes available, he stays calm and waits for something to open up. He spots an open line mate cross side and delays the pass to let an opponent leave the lane. Beautiful set of passes. Sometimes it's just that he doesn't always fall back on the first option he sees. Here the passing lane is slightly covered and he prefers to hit his teammate along the boards. Bedor has the great habit of always having an active vision before recovering a loose puck or making a simple pass. You'll see Z up to avoid unnecessary mistakes and just be proactive in his decision making. A cross ice pass could be easily picked off, so he gets a glimpse of his target before completing the pass. Bedor is extremely confident in his capabilities and he has the guts to get creative. He even tried pulling the Michigan off in his third WHL game. The confidence in this kid is crazy. The 2023 NHL draft eligible is a willing passer who feeds teammates with simple yet very effective setup passes. Despite his goal scoring prowess, he is at ease of passing on a good shot to create a great shot for an ally. He uses teammates very well in unmanned rushes, finding the open man smoothly. He'll flash instances of brilliant playmaking, proactively surveying open teammates to dish beautiful setups as soon as he gets the puck, or just using his anticipation and senses to guess a teammate's positioning. That's what he does here as he remembers he had a thrilling teammate crashing to the net. My favorite pass of his is this one, where he attracts all the attention as a goal-scoring threat before sending a perfect no-look pass cross-side. 
Here he keeps taking glimpses of this slot at the search of an ally, and he finds one as he passes behind the net. That said, he more often than not reacts to catching sight of an open teammate or passing lane, rather than making playmaking a priority. That's not necessarily a knock on his game though, as Bedal plays with his head up and finds a lot of nice ideas naturally without forcing things. This is also the case to neutral zone, where he will give up the puck to a more active attacker when he sees it. Despite all the great reads, Bedal isn't perfect either. He's made his fair share of bad or slow decisions. This turnover notably turns into a picky goal for the opposition. Same game, Bedal receives the puck at the point and has two options. Either he set up a slap shot on the far side or he tries jumping into the open space he has in front. There's no wrong answer, but he just takes too much time thinking, the gap to the face of that shot, and he still tries to run through both defenders. Here, Bedar wants to restart the attack for his team. He initially misses the best passing option for a quick zone entry, but then, instead of going wide for safety, he bets on splitting both forwards and taking the middle lane. The opposition obviously shuts that idea and it's a turnover. With another two years before he is even eligible for the draft, Connor Bedard is already a real threat to watch. His combination of pace, skill and lightning quick shot makes him extremely dynamic offensively, or one would say, exceptional. With how unpredictable the prospect world is, I recommend to keep your expectations low, but your eyes wide open. Watching his progression over the next few years will be a delight. Thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate the support from each of you. Don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments below. I love interacting with everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Fear not, here I come.